my name is Mike Foley. I work in the vSphere Tech Marketing Group. My focus is on vSphere security. One of the things we've added in vSphere 6.5 is secure boot support for the ESXi hypervisor. Now secure boot, if you look at the way secure boot is done, you have a server, you have the UEFI firmware, and the UEFI firmware validates the bootloader. Well, the bootloader is digitally signed. And it's digitally signed against a certificate that lives within the UEFI firmware. So when at boot time, the UEFI firmware validates the digital uh, signature. The digital signature, the bootloader, then validates the digitally signed VM kernel. The VM kernel then runs what's called the VIB verifier. Now, a VIB is a package, a digitally signed tar gzipped package of all of the ESXi file system files. So rather than signing each file, I just sign the package. The ESXi file system references the contents of the package. We never take anything out of the package. We, all, we only reference what's in the package. So in order to digitally sign, in order to digitally verify that ESXi has booted cleanly, all I have to do is validate each and every VIB. And that is what the VIB verifier does. So to reiterate, hardware, firmware with a digital certificate, the firmware validates the bootloader, the bootloader validates the kernel, the kernel validates all of the files. So now we have cryptographic assurance all the way from the files all the way down to the firmware. When secure boot is enabled, you cannot install an unsigned VIB. If you have unsigned VIBs installed already and you enable secure boot, you will get a purple screen of death that tells you what VIBs have to be removed. So, this allows you to meet requirements of file integrity at the hypervisor level. And with that, thank you very much.